Hey guys, it's me, Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here and you guys clicked on this video because you're like, what the heck is food intolerance? Why is she taking the pinner test? Hey, my name's Cindy, Fit Sid. Um, welcome to the Fit Fam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's just get into this. Follow me on my socials, by the way, and um, yeah. So, with that being said, earlier today, I'm a college student, you guys, so I got the pinner test, which I've seen so much about on social media, and then I was lucky enough to start working with them and like I can do my honest review So don't worry guys. I'm allowed to like talk about this however. I want to but um basically the pinner test I'm going to take a blood sample This is like what I know the the details are I'm gonna take a blood sample I'm gonna show you guys that I'm doing it and uh, kind of take you guys through my journey of like food intolerances because um, as you guys know, recently I was bulking, I got hurt, and now I kind of, I'm kind of at this point where I want to cut weight, and I want to, like, lose weight, and I feel like the best way I can personally do it is, like, trying out the whole food intolerances, which is where the pinner test comes in handy, because that's where they tell you. So, just so you guys know, like, this is on their, um, not on their website per se, but, like, this is on what I've read about them. A few different things about the pinner test. Um, how a food intolerance test can help. It quickly identifies which foods are responding neg negatively to your system, eliminates the need for food journaling or guess and check eating, no need for follow-ups or exercise regimens, just cut out the foods you're intolerant to. So for me personally, like I know that like when you eat well and you exercise, you see results, but for me, like I wanna kinda know like a little bit more in depth about my food intolerances, and if you guys are curious, like I'll have it linked down below so you guys can get info on it. But um, they ship it to your door. I obviously got it in my dorm. You order online and receive the kit in three to four business days. You take it back to your home and mail the sample back rather than having to go anywhere. And it only requires two to three drops of blood via a basic finger prick, just like a glucose check. So I have never done this myself. I'm really excited though. Um, and then they email the results back to our account seven to 10 business days. So it's really quick and you don't have to go to a lab. You don't have to spend all the money at a lab. You just literally buy this kit and then they tell you that. So with that being said, um, it's just like super clear, uncomplicated results. Um, the results indicate either zero reaction, one, two, three, um, or three plus intolerance. The three being the most severe to 200 different foods. It identifies permanent food intolerances rather than temporary ones. So that's really cool. And then the other thing is I'm really excited to cut down on like the negative symptoms, which are like weight gain, fatigue, uh, acne, and other breakouts, which I don't know if you guys have known this, but like I've been getting so many acne breakouts. You can't really tell right now because I'm wearing makeup, um, but I'm not wearing any foundation, but just the lighting is being a little nicer to me right now. But like I have such bad acne. I've been gaining weight because I was bulking, but like, now I'm just, I feel so uncomfortable in my body and I really want to just try something new. And then obviously the fatigue, I've been trying not to have caffeine and, you know, with that, you know, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I also have bloating. Um, that could be also because I'm on my period, but like I have a lot of like bloating recently and I feel like the food intolerances could be leading to that. Um, I don't really have any joint pain, mood swings. That's another thing that this helps with. And then um, it's a really great way because you're in your own house, you feel better. And the light's slowly gonna go down, by the way, just, just so you guys know. So I'm like gonna try to hurry this up before I turn on my big light. But with that being said, sun's going down and I really wanna take this test. So I'm gonna turn on my light and uh, take this test. Okay guys, so this is the pinner test. That's what it looks like. I know the lighting's a little bit different now, but we're gonna just deal with it. Um, basically it says instructions inside so this is what happens when you come in when it comes in the box it comes like this and it comes with I'm guessing two spots for a blood sample and then this paper right here so it says wipe your finger with sterilized paper in your kit open and prepare the blood collection paper Twist forward and pull the stick from the dispenser and re remove the entire stick. The needle is hidden, you will not see it. Place a thin part, the thin part of the dispenser on your fingertip and press the button. Allow the blood, blood droplets to fall on the collection pad or touch the pad gently. And they only need two to three drops of blood. Clean your fingertip and bandage as needed. Fill out the form and send the package with the return envelope. So it's like super simple and easy. And there's 
all the info here so like they give you everything you need okay it also comes with a band-aid they're so nice and then the sterilization paper and then the blood collection sample kit and then it also comes with the prepaid shipping which is so awesome this is so nice this is great like i love that they make it so easy okay so this isn't actually that hard but we're gonna go and um do this so it says to wipe your finger okay that's what it looks like that's the alcohol swab so i'm gonna wipe my finger right now and which finger do you use so they have the middle pointer finger so i'm opening it and preparing it then it says to twist forward and pull the stick from the dispenser so you pull this and remove the entire stick so i removed it place the thin part of the dispenser i'm so scared this is harder like this is what it looks like you guys like it's not there's nothing to prick it <gasps> Bleed more, come on. Bleed, bleed. Okay, so I pricked my finger. It needs a few drops of blood, but like I'm not, I don't bleed that easily. So like, it's a process. So like, I need to get more blood because they want a few this drops. Is I, don't I don't know if I bleed that much. Look, is that enough? Yeah, I think so. I think that this is enough, you guys. I think so. Katie thinks it's enough. It looks, let me see. Should I let myself bleed onto it a little more? I mean, like, I'll bleed onto I don't it think, a little more. I think it looks fine. So, anyways, with that being said, though, I think it's good now. I'm going to put the Band-Aid on that they, like, literally, they are so, I love this test because it's so prepared. It has everything you need. You don't need to buy your own Band-Aids. And as a college student, I'm not always the most prepared. But look, you can, you have your sterilizing kit, just like that. And you have your band-aid and you're all set to go like you have a whole first aid kit in this thing so i'm gonna put this band-aid on and i'm going to take this downstairs and send it to back to them and then get my results in the email and then i'm gonna sit and talk to you guys about that all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm going to take this and send this back to them I'm going to include my blood sample, which is just the pinner test. It comes like that, and that's literally all you include on to send back, and then they test it for you. So it's super awesome, super convenient and easy, and um, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to seal this up and send it off because it's like all prepaid postage, so you don't have to worry about anything. You just take the test and literally seal it and send it back. So with that being said, I hope everyone has an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was like very short and sweet, but I really wanted to document this because I feel like this could be a turning point in my health journey because right now I'm going back into like trying to lose weight and um, I wanna like eat well and I wanna eat where my body can digest my food. And um, yeah, so with that being said, I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye babes.